Hello my love, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jess and this is Franklin as you can see. I had a message that came through or has been building up and coming through and I'm sending the intention that it meets you with divine timing. So if you're watching this from the future, if you're watching this in the present, I do believe that this was meant to reach you again with divine timing. So first things first, there's layers to this message. So I ask that you be open and receptive to it. Second, what had started happening about three days ago? Take a step back and look at three days ago from this present moment. Feel free to pause this video if you need to. But again, I really wanna encourage you to walk with me as we walk through this message because the way that I felt the presence of the divine and the divine moving through communication through this message, I think it's very important. I believe that it's very important that you receive it in the same way, as close to accurate as I felt it as possible. I hope that makes sense. So one thing that has been showing up lately is this this the the divine showing up and and speaking about looking at everything around you taking a step back and assessing and looking at everything around you now <clears throat> all the good all the bad it doesn't matter if you love your current circumstances if you're sitting in the library if you're sitting at home in your living room if you're waiting for the bus look at everything around you right now really be present feel free to pause this video again and just assess even the smallest detail in your current circumstances in your current environment are you alone are you with someone are you with something are there animals around you what is it that is in your present moment right here right now really take some time to sit with it savor it for good and for bad any type of emotions or feelings that come up whether those feelings feel good or whether they feel tricky or complicated embrace them sit with them and be present with them because there is this overarching message that is so strong that comes through that says that the divine this higher source this higher being is with you in this very moment in this very moment not only is the divine here watching the current circumstances but it's almost mirroring your exact feelings and infusing the same feelings that is that you have it's infusing hope and faith towards the future taking that assessment that we just did everything that is around you right now has been set up perfect and there is a level of trust and surrender into the intensity of this moment for good or for bad and anchoring into the divine right now when with this next message that it is that I'm going to share with you which is all of this is a setup for what is to come all of this is a setup for what is to come all of this was a divine arrangement as I say that, some of you are gonna immediately armor up, guard yourself, and protect your energy because you refuse to believe, you, you refuse to have hope, you refuse to look into the future with faith. Some of you guys are on your last string of faith. Some of you guys don't are, are so turned off by even the feeling or tapping into a sense of hope anymore. Some of you guys have so many blessings, actually, so many blessings and so many gifts and so many things that you love about your life that you your sense of armor is not defensive. It's more like, how could it get any better? When I look at my life, I, I see all of these amazing things. How could it get any better? And I know, this is what some of you guys are thinking, I know that someone else, that this, this message might be for someone else because someone else is suffering, someone else is struggling. And that's the same thing that I really want to pass on to you guys is that when I was sitting in my meditation, as I sat and was drawing closer to the divine and asking for closeness and intimacy and clarity in this message, the, the overarching strongest feeling that, is that I want to pass on to you is the fact that regardless, again, of whatever it is that you've been feeling, sensing, good or bad, highs or lows, you are included in this message and it did come to you with divine timing. The next thing that 
was coming through is many of you are going through an interesting season of isolation. Many are going through an interesting season of isolation. And as I say interesting, I almost get something adjacent, like a feeling that's very close to you've almost expected this feeling of isol isolation. You almost knew that it was going to come. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because you lived through so many things before or if you had this sense that it was coming, but you, you're not surprised by this feeling of isolation. But you're not happy with it. You don't like it. Some of you guys might actually be a very a very small chunk, and I just heard 23 to 22% of those who are watching this video might actually be celebrating it, understanding it, fully accepting it, surrendering to it, and enjoying it profusely. profusely. You're just doing you, and it feels really good to not have to engage in toxic energies or engage in the energies of other people because you are full by yourself and I love that for you. I love that for you and I relate to that in many levels. My life is full right now of people that I love in and out, um, but I also very much enjoy my private time because those are usually my times where I'm leaning strongly into the divine's arms. So there's not a moment where I really truly feel alone or isolated for too long. But so there is a very, a very significant chunk of you, 22 to 23 percent, that are actually enjoying the season of isolation. The rest of you, it varies. It's on a, and it, it, it can change day by day and it goes on like a spectrum, right? But this isolation period is so important, regardless of how intense it feels or light it feels, because, again, you are being divinely prepared like you are energetically being becoming prepared whether you realize it or not for what is to come and before before there is a breakthrough in your circumstances there there is always going to be a quiet period a break a pause a breath that you inhale and you might hold before you exhale and release and that's what you're in right now this period of isolation serves so many layers to it, so many levels to it, because the word that I heard is alignment, but I also heard something similar to awakening, and I can't remember it now. Um, I'll ask the divine to um, bring it into my awareness as I'm going through this message again, but it's something similar to an awakening. It's where your eyes are being opened, or this path, this process, it's so important that you do not have the distraction, the noise, that you are focused on being still and quiet because you're preparing for what is to come. And that is going to be very active, very engaging. For some of you, it feels like you're in a spirit of dormancy or an energy of dormancy or study. Some of you guys are withdrawing into yourselves because you need to focus. And you may actually be questioning, okay, how is it that when I'm in this season in my life, the very people that is I love and care about the most, where do they go when this is such an important journey for me? And it's because spirit shows up for you, but spirit shows up for you also in others. And I really want you to receive that. Spirit will show up for you. The divine will show up for you within you, but the divine will also show up for you in others. So if they are being intuitively guided or led away from you right now, it's because the divine is pulling them away from you in ways that doesn't always logically make sense, but they, and it may hurt or it may be confusing or it may seem like they're neglecting you or it's like negligent in some way, but trust and believe that if you're receiving this message, it's because it's a season of preparation that it is at your end. And you need to focus on where you're at right now. There might be minute, tiny details that require your attention, that require your love, that require your nurturing. Because as soon as you plant those seeds and you tend to them, what is to come is going to start happening like rapid fire. And it's going to be all hands on deck. It's going to be very active. It's going to be very engaging. For some of you guys, I actually was sensing a, a, a season of unemployment where you're looking for job op offers and you're looking for new opportunities, but nothing seems to click. The opportunities that you are 
it, it chasing or that you're interested in you you almost like it, everything is a no but on top of that I'm almost seeing you like settling because and you know you know that you're not meant to settle like you know in your spirit that this is not what the divine wants for you but logically your reasoning is telling you that I need to find like a um I need to put my resume to these jobs even though I can sense that this isn't the job for me but I haven't seen where I'm supposed to be placed and I want to tell you that this isn't a game <laughs> I say that and I laugh because it's gonna feel like okay what is this trickiness energy that's going on here um, the divine is tricking with me that my life is a joke to the spirit my life is a joke to the angels they're not they're not playing with you I promise sometimes it does feel that way though but they're not playing with you they're not it's not a game for them it's just divine timing again like you you have to learn at certain points within your journey in your life because it goes beyond just your desires and your hopes and your wishes it goes into a part of you looking back and understanding the miracle of that moment understanding that something supernatural happened in that moment and the moments to come it aids you in your own faith journey in your own beliefs and your own spiritual practices and your own ability to magnetize and to attract um, and also set the standard high and to continue to take care and attend uh, for yourself spiritually mentally physically emotionally also when you believe when you believe because you know because there's nothing that could logically that there's nothing there's no other way to explain it people will sense that and they will know that you know this person has gone through on like has defied the odds and the level of their their aura their energy speaks so loudly on what they on what they've experienced i believe them too even though I don't know them, there's something in their aura that I believe them. So there's layers to this season within your life and trusting. So yes, you may feel isolated, but it's not to say that, again, those same people are not going to be important in your life or in this next season that you're pre preparing for. It'll be interesting. I didn't even get any additional clarity into the roles that they will serve in the next season of your life. I think because every single one of us individually will have the power to define what roles and and level of importance and significance that they hold in our lives. It's it's also um, I, I just think it's not important. I think that the divine is l leading you through this season because. A lot of you, a lot of you, meaning like not the numbers of those who are watching this video, but the, the, the largest chunk of you is preparing for what is to come. And the people around you may not, are not on the same level. They're not preparing for the same thing. They're being led in different directions. They're being blessed in different directions. They're manifesting in different ways. And it's important that like alchemy that those energies are not bleeding into each other because they will influence each other and what is for you is not for others and where you're going others can't come so it's so important that you stay focused that you fill your time up with things that are meaningful and significant for you for everyone this applies to but also definitely for those of you guys that are manifesting this wonderful next chapter in your life that has a lot of health and healing and love and things that you're going to be nurturing and things that are going to be nurturing to you and also a, a big part of your purpose one last thing and i know that i get a little long-winded with these messages but as i talk about them i receive more some of you many of you have been very active in breaking generational curses or patterns patterns these broken patterns and years ago months ago it feels long it feels like years you made a statement to the divine you made a statement to the earth you made a statement to yourself you made a statement to your angels and your guides and your ancestors you said it ends with me it ends with me and there was something about your conviction when you said it that it was true and when when spirit shows up when the divine shows up it's not just stuck in that one moment it transcends and it extends way beyond time and distance and it is still around you now that energy is still true to you now and 
it's that the magic of your words and the conviction of your words and the power of your words is what is weaving this moment right now. And if you knew and if you trusted yourself originally in that moment when you stated it ends with me now, you have to trust that the way that things are weaving into this present is serving a greater purpose. You have to trust that. You have to. And if you don't trust it, I'll trust it for you because it's happened in my life so many times where the things that I said, the prayers that I said, the intentions that I said, the statements that I stated in that moment, the original moment have interacted with all the things to bring me years later to the place where I was a living, breathing embodiment of the very energy that was exploding and blossoming within my life in that moment. And it's hard to see it when you're in it. It tests a lot of things because there's a lot of change, there's a lot of reevaluation, there's a lot of things, supernatural things, and people around you are being influenced by that. But again, it's always the divine's grace that is covering you. It's always your higher self that has led you to that moment. It's your angels and your guides that love you and protect you. All of those things surround you now. So you have to believe, you have to believe, you have to believe that the words that you spoke are still influencing and impacting your present and your future. And they are covering you and they are protecting you and they are loving you and they are holding you. And where you're going and where you're at is going to be so beyond expectations in the highest way possible, the highest way possible, the highest levels of love, the highest levels of abundance. Don't also forget that we are in a season of re-evaluating our values. The things that were once important to us, we're recognizing right now that it was good when it happened. But now that I'm here in this present moment, I've got to change. I got to shift because who I am is evolving. My priorities are evolving. My values are prior are, are being prioritized different. And I just have to accept that. Just because it doesn't look like what it used to look like doesn't mean that it's bad. It's actually very good and it reflects your growth. Embrace that growth. Embrace the maturity because that is such a gift, such a gift. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So just to bring this around full circle, I wanna remind you again that you are in a season of isolation for a very supreme reason, that your prayers from the past are being answered now, and to stay focused because something is really building here and blooming here and blossoming here, and even if you can't see it, I'm seeing it for you and something within your spirit recognizes the truth in my words and reminds you of things that have already been set into motion from your past. Okay? Because I'm a reflection too of an answered prayer. I'm a reflection too of an intention that you've set. I'm an intention too of something that is materializing and manifesting. Absolutely. So. If this message resonates, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a heart down in the comments. The more that you engage with energy, you're contributing to that energy, so it actually helps it to unfold. Um, and of course, you guys know I'm working quietly and from my own space, so if you need me, you can reach out to me at info at bahadilife.com. The shop has reopened. I'm so grateful for that. I'm taking orders in smaller amounts because this season in my life is wanting me to kind of like I always do, but just in a different way, keep things real close to me and um, make it in a way that's more relaxed because I'm prioritizing peace. And my ambition has shifted into overall sense of nourishment. <laughs> instead of um, like accomplishment, you know? I don't know how to describe it, I'm still piecing it together, but the season that I'm in in my life right now has nourishment all over it. And um, I really appreciate you guys for being here, especially those of you guys that have been here in the long haul since the beginning. I know some of you guys, someone said, Jess, I was there with you when you had 32,000 32, subscribers. And I remember how proud I was. <laughs> 
<laughs> of that. And I still am 32,000. That's a lot. It's a lot of subscribers. I remember when I was like 112. I was like, yo, people care. It's 112 people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot. I don't even know if I know 112 people. <laughs> um, for those of you guys that are passing, I hope that you're well. I hope that you have a good day. I hope that you are so happy and good with where you're at right now. And if not, I hope you have the strength and the courage to get through it. If our paths meet again, it would be a blessing. If not, it's okay, but I send you a blessing. I hope that wherever life takes you, that you're good. And that all of your intentions and prayers and everything are all answered in the way that they're meant to be because the divine really does look out for us. And that's one thing that I will never not believe. <laughs> all right, my loves, I'm sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.